MLB Road to the Show back on the air. I am Jayhawk. This is Epico 12 of the MLB Road to the Show. Just a quick update on the standing for those of you missed the last Epico here. We are back and play five games out in the Eastern Southwest Division. Eastern Northeast Division kind of looked like this. Got a lot happening here. About, again, to about, be about the halfway point of the season, 63 game again. Take a quick look at the calendar before we move on here. We're going to have the off day, then we're going to have a kick game here against Binghamton. We start getting close to the end of June here. Going to the All Star game. We got one, two, three here left before the All Star game hit. Let's like play next appearance. We're going to have the off day here. Working some stuff on the off hand. We want to look at. Updating plate vision, that kind of looks like a good idea, actually. We'll have to kind of look through. Ooh, I'm getting three categories there. Getting three categories there. Let get some defensive rep. Build some things up that way. An agent needs to check in from time to time to make sure his client is happy with his situation. How are you, how are you feeling about your kids with the guardian organization? No complaints. A savvy agent will engender confidence in his client. Confidence that he has a world of possibilities at his fingertips. My job gets you what you want, Jared. Tell me anything that can be on time. We can look how we might work to change it going forward. Okay, but for now I'm good. But the measure of a good agent is how well he can turn these possibilities into actualities. All right, and we got a kick game here. Here, Core coming to be batting third. That's just standard at the point. The Binghamton Rumble Pony. The Binghamton Rumble Pony had a lot of guys here cold in that art lineup right now. Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. Double-A Baseball on the show, coming your way. It's the Binghamton Rumble Ponies going up against the Akron Rubber Ducks. And we'll be back with the first pitch. Just about ready to go. And on the mound in this one, Adam Leverett. Tell us about him in that sub-3 ERA, Singy. Well, anytime you can keep your ERA under okay, three, top of the first you're inning here. A lot of things right, and you're putting your team in a position Two out, to win one on. a lot of ball games as well. Adam Leffert has been pitching very well this season. There on the mound, every time he gets the ball, you Not expect to throw to his 11th pitch of the inning. And that's what he's been to this point. Fly ball down the line. And it hops over the wall for an automatic double. I had no shot at that one. They're going to score their first run of the game, and that feels like a tough break. But look at the bright side. Really good contact at the plate, and now they're working with not just one, but two runners in scoring position. So they'd love another base hit right here. So two down, number 12. Winnaker. Don't even get out of the inning off screen here. I was finishing the inning with well, actually, that's right. it's going to happen here. Makes the grab and that'll end the inning. Two left on. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one. No score. You have two hits right off the bat there, but. Jared Hawkins now at the play. 385, five home runs, 48 RBI. He's first in the Eastern League, right field all star voting. Now I'm up at the plate here with nobody on and two out. And Daigan Akata. Then one pitch. pitch to each of the first two hitters. Hammered, base he's only going to throw one pitch to me too, but he's going to give go, up that hit. Turn, make the turn, make the turn. First pitch swing in, went up there with Batting the plan four. to be aggressive. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. Now the catcher up to hit, Zach Collins. What you got, Nick? Hawkins leads off first with two down to the inning. Out to short. All right, shot the short. Through the hole for a big hit. For a hit. So that's, that's all we're doing right there. Two out hits. 
batting fifth. Just a simple field. ground ball the other way that had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Stepping in the long ball threat, Petey Halpin. All right, Petey, Obviously come on. a guy who makes good contact, hits for average, but one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. Kicks and fires. That one lifted to left. He's under uh, it. Looks like that's going to get caught. Makes Crap. the catch. Inning over. We played an inning. No score. Jalen Davis will hit next. Doubled in his first A.B. He's going to come up ready to swing in this situation. The devil again here. It's going to be a two run game. Right -hander deals. Especially if they're running on the move. One is lifted in the air. Should be caught at least. And he makes the catch. And that's the inning. Ugh. So two down. Bottom third. Nobody on two right out. Jared Hawkins. Hawkins yeah. still is only 15 pitching. He, he's super efficient. That great. That game go like 14 innings and a cop to be out there. Swing Early miss. crap. That's strike one. Night pitch. Hawkins goes five feet. Twenty-two double leading the team. Pounds, and he's been on a good run at the plate, hitting over like three hundred. Weak ground ball to short. Games. That's going to be the end of the inning. Wide throw pulls oh. him off the bag, and the Back inning in still alive. That's a play you expect your shortstop to make pretty much every time. Yeah, I thought he was going to make it. Hard to tell if he didn't got call and count that average up to 304. On him just broke down, but that gives this offense an extra out to work with. Kicks and deals. And that's ball four. All right. The center fielder, number four. Petey Halpin. Petey Halpin 0 for 1 to fly out in the third. And he got the game situation here. Two position. on, two out. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full speed. On the ground. Yeah. Right, Tosses to first. Up, That's right the third out. A couple over. of threat, but two nothing happening. On. on to inning number four. Four to through three. Right, now the left fielder, now Jeremy Vasquez. Still four to now top of the fifth. And he's again, who does it all. Binghamton threatening two on, two out. Game. This guy. It's for contact, so we I don't love it. It's only throwing 50 pitches through four and two thirds. Been too. efficient. Swung on, belted. Oh, gonna be tight. Hawkins on the move, racing back, and it's gone. I jumped too early. I had the right He'll idea, but I jumped too early. And just like that, they're out front. Now first and second, no outs. All right, two Jared on, nobody Hawkins. out. Down three Getting here, bottom five. Got the. Finally starting to throw some pitching. He can get up to 49 now. That's hitting well on the right center. Palacios around third. One run across. That's going to be a double two run score. And it's a one run game. Back up to 50 RBI. Everybody in June, 23rd double of the year. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. Matt Collins, one for one with a tingle. He walked as well. Zach Collins. If he can pick up a second tingle, I can tie the ball game up. Left hand hitter waits. Ripped to third. third. Can't even advance the runner on it. Sends it across to first. And that's the first that was like the, the one play he could hit a grounder that wouldn't do any good. Keeping the ball out of the air lets the defense work behind. Pretty helping now. Over two. Good execution. Two seventy one. Duck have five home runs. Here's Seventeen RBI. Pretty helping. Yeah, so Still he's got some power. Out here in the inning. Next one misses. Three and two now. Aaron Bracho in the on deck. Aaron circle. Bracho on deck. The kick, the 3-2 three, two. Two pitch. And there's ball four. Ball four. Well, he two on, one out for Bracho. Right there, he one for two, he doubled in the fourth. Thing, he set up he does have 20 kick RBI. Okay, he he does have um, the ability to hit with runner from scoring position. Would love to see a kick and hit the ball game right here. Line drive. Palmer makes the catch. 
And there's two down. Yeah, that was a wasted. Technically a pop up, I guess. Don Naranjo 0 for 2 with a ground out in the first. 238 average, 5 home runs, 19 RBI. So again, guy who has a little bit of pop in the back. A little bit of second gun in scoring position. Swing and a miss, strike three. Can we get two of the runs back? Now it's the right fielder. We move to the top of the seventh, one on, nobody out. Last time, going to the opposite field. And things could change quickly here. With New pitcher, swing. Manuel Alvarez. See if we can get the runner moved over here. And the first pitch misses for ball one. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. The pitch. Puts a bunt down. Too hard. A double play off a freaking sacrifice attempt. Are you kidding me? That's one of the toughest double plays to turn on the infield. The first baseman has to get inside, create a unbelievable. Jalen Davis. Unfreaking believable. Like swing and a high fly ball. Pretty well struck. Right field. And off the base of the wall. Bracho, relay to second, not in time. Not quite in time, but seeing some good scraps from him right now. No right so up next, Jared two for four, double, dingle, two a RBI. Guy keep an eye on when he digs Still in. can't Definitely believe I got I got into a double play on a freaking sacrifice bunt attack. Good at it, Chris. Yeah, and he creates a, a sense of urgency for the defense because of the speed, because of the ability to put down Round the ball. Round of the second. It's going to glide through for a hit. Puts the tying run on base. Like a three-hit game. Well, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Really yeah, Collins, two for three. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove it that way, and it kind of makes and me think he was thinking opposite field. Unfortunately, fortunate it's one out. I don't think he can sacrifice in this situation. He's got to take a cut. Popped him up. Palmer and two down. Makes the play, and there's two away. Boy, that was a hanging breaking ball right oh, there. I think he tried to do a little bit too much. Sometimes those eyes can get really big. I think his swing broke down as well, and that's what caused him to pop it up. Big spot here, bottom of the ninth, down to their final out. Petey Halpin now at the plate. Yo, one, Yo, one pitch. Out there to center. He's under. Gonna it. be caught. Not the ball That's game. The ball game. I just got that. I'd say you're lying if you say you don't feel unbelievable. This W definitely helps them relax a little bit and take some of the pressure off from it going to a Lose six. Three two to a team that's struggling. Unbelievable. A three two final score in this one for Chris Singleton. All right, it is what it is. Here we go. And Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon. They left 14 men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 45 minutes. 2.45. And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Minor League Baseball from the AA level coming up. It's the Binghamton Rumble Ponies going up against the Akron Rubber Ducks. All right, we'll be back to get okay. this one started after this. Checking phone notifications in between here. Just about set to go now. And our pitcher tonight, Tanner Burns. And Singy, we were talking earlier Tanner about Burns, how he's two and doing a great job ERA. navigating through tough that spots. Occurs. We're in the bottom of the first tier. So 389, five home like runs, 50 RBI. Pressure. Like, I can't he's argue with the that. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring I want to win some games. That's my main goal. Tight, they start to aim the baseball, but Bout for some Drake, reason, a little bit late on that. Looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know tough situations and get his team ah. out of the dugout. Comes up empty Can't believe I swung at that. Two now. Caught him looking for the K. Nice that pitch. In the books tonight. And we're scoreless here on Night the show. Nice pitch. How about the Tampa Bay, how about the Tampa Bay Ray? 
13 and 0 to start the season. Jeremy Vasquez. He reached out a walk his first time. He's a guy Chris is highly excited to see. Start a year to the 87 Brewer. You will ever see definitely one of the best arms of the sport. Hit in the air. That's right going to end base off the third inning here. And he makes the catch. And that that did a little that. bit of research. The longest winning streak to start a league in a major league so history. 20-0 by the 1884 St. Louis three. Maroon. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Nick needed that uh, major league back in the in 1958 and 59. Kind of unless it should count that in the case. Here's the but first baseman, number 12. He's still impressive. If you're trying to keep the line Matt Winninger here, one on, nobody out, to top four in the with ball game. We had a couple of solid power. pitching battles early on here. Right side. And there's one down. Gets to the cutoff man for it. Any damage there? One down. That St. Louis team had a 94 and 19 record. Next to hit, Jared Pockets. His first at bat was a strikeout. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. I was swing the bank runner, hit a double and better, hit a home run. Yeah, crap. All right, we'll go for some power swing here. Down three, nothing. Line Falls drive. In for the out. Good contact. And stepping no, in it. is the speed. Still three nothing here. Top Freeman. pick. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. And a three-two. That one hit to right. Hawkins puts it away for the out. Get that to the cutoff man. That's it's not going to fall in. The ball out of the pitcher's hand. You cannot hang a breaking ball. Out, We're in the bottom of the kick here. Right Still Jared down Hawkins. three nothing. We'll hit next. We're in a second one out. Need to start chipping away the lead. First pitch just misses. A lot of movement on that pitch. Honestly, should have been called a strike. Only 18 years I will old, take the non-call there. Run at the plate, hitting over 325 in his last 10 games. Out There's a center. hard hit ball McElwain. to the gap. On Fall the in. He can't get there. That should be extra bases. That's going to be an RBI Rick double. From second, and it's now a two-run game. Pulls into Cuck second. That's the 3-1. That's, that's my 51st double. RBI of the, the game drive, of the year. I mean, 24th double. Now, T.D. Halpin. That's pretty much a double every time. Go for you two, two strikeouts so far. And now he's got a one-two pitch. Hard hit, right side. All uh, right to the Steps first baseman, not strikeout out. anyway. Vancing me over to third. Right there, nice job of the pitcher to bear Gives down. me come option on a bad pitch. Excellent piece of work. Joe so Naranjo for one. He walked in the second. An impact, not just at the plate, yeah, he's at 240, but he does have five home runs and 19 RBI. He can get a little bit of popping at bat. Can get him back with running from scoring position. Good eye right there. Ball two. Did you think I was running in this situation? Are you going to show me these pitches? Like, I'm confused. The next pitch misses. Ball three. And that's ball three. Marco Gintalek on deck. Around him with the base open, Singy. Well, you know these 2-0 counts, Boo. They're just not what they used to be, and we sound like old guys when I say that. But ultimately, this is a strategic game, and you expect to see this type of approach by the pitcher ball in this four. situation. Walk him on four pitches. Oh, you know this guy wants to swing it, but he's showing some good patience in this one. Yeah, it's the it. second time he's taken ball four. Man. So two outs with runners on the corners. Marcos Gonzalez digs in now. And that one Grounded a right to the first base and I'll end the inning. To the bag and and I got one of them back. One down, runner at first. And now the I can't argue with one for three. 
Oh, these guys definitely ah, early. For a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that You're gap. You're on a 15 double play. Least, Probably the weakest part of my game. A guy from point that like that. First, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ball game. Oh my God. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base. Try to stay out of a double play here. Gonna count one and two. Okay, I'm capable of taking a ball. Good. The pitch. Got him! And he's down on strikes for the second nice time pitch. today. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do. Well, at this point of the year, first day of the summer, Pony teams win. are really We're starting to figure two out who they are. Road to this no team's not good. Weather or any inclement conditions. Now I think not looking good for playoff hope. Really your playoff hope at this point. Forward. Welcome, thanks for joining us. Some double right, baseball. Let's move on here. So just about set now. Our starting pitcher in this one, Tommy Mace. Tommy Mace, kicking three, two point six seven ERA. For him, there is no place like home. He's been right, so dominant two out here, here top of the first inning. Teammate, you expect him when pitching at home this year to go out and dominate just as he has. The fans expect it. And I think everyone around here knows that he's a good pitcher. Even though we don't see the same splits on the road, we're going to start to see that translate as well. Nice Stands catch and the inning. Wow. That is the inning. One that was close. Left. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one. No score. Black Cloaker and I expected quite honestly. Stepping in, Jared Hawkins. So, oh, nobody on two out here. Eight game him. hitting streak right now. 387, five home run, 51 RBI. Hard Grounder right, right, to the, right to the third baseman. Low throw and he can't take it And he bobbled the pet the low throw bobbled on not caught. We all know that that first They're gonna call the error on the throw the there. Error, it, 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 E5 if you're scoring the hole. I don't know why you would be since you're not seeing every play. Matt Collins, three of kick batting average, fourth on the rubber duck. Maybe even worse because uh, your pitcher to get what should have been the last out of that inning. 3 1 now. Here's the pitch. Run around the goal. Ball four. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Now, this is a story we were paying attention to before the game. We've seen him give up walks in the past, and it's an issue once again early on. The 0 2. 0 2 to help in. And a string and a strike three. He is not hitting the ball well at all and right now. One. And we're still scoreless. Welcome back. New inning getting started. Now, Luke Ritter. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes. Top of the deck and nobody on. Nobody out. Luke Ritter batting just 200 on the season. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed Maybe off of the leadership. Maybe they're having to run a long way to get Tony fly ball. And next is the designated. Binghamton now up 1 nothing here. Ritter, one nothing, old, two down. He was drafted Top in the three. seventh round back in 2019. He just flew out to me like 10 seconds ago. Fly ball down the line, but it slices just foul. Ah, oh, thank God. Fly ball, pretty well uh, struck right field. That's back, and that one is out of here. He flexes his power with that swing, yeah. and they add to the lead. Now Jared Hawkins. Down 2 nothing to here. Reach on the air in the first. I'm 4 for 10. Rick Bake on two of them get failed. In his last 10 games. First in off, guy ball one. The mark. This one in the air right field. That's not going to do it. Makes the grab and there's two gone. Now batting, catcher, Zach. I'm making paper. Back here at the ballpark, all set for the start of the Lead inning. And here Top is four, down Chet two. Williams. Yes. Williams. Hope the wife's not too late getting home from work and getting hungry. That one is absolutely belted. Hawkins, ranging back, turning, looking, and that one it's is time. gone. The big blow to the home fans. Now back. So one out. Three nothing. Do top four. Sanger now at the plate. Sanger. 
and the pitch. That one ripped. Jesus. That's back there. And it's gone. <laughs> they all get hit right about the same spot, too. Now it's the right field. Down five nothing. I can't God, look at Get game theory. That could be rough, man. I've already got to win out to win the theory. Now I can't even get it. Yeah, get a lead. Can't even keep this game close. That one missed. He's clearly trying to work him away here. Both pitches off the plate. If you really want to put the ball in play, you're going to have to stay back and drive it to the opposite field. Next pitch misses, and it's 3 0. 3 0. Out to center, number six. Oh, man. And, on it, and Crap. that's the third out. Should have, the 3 0 count, I should have taken the pitch. So up it next, what it is. Number six. Number six. Still 5 0. Here, the guy is 3 for 3 on the day. Pounds, and he's one of the few players in Major League Baseball born in Hawaii. Next offering popped in the air, right field. And out number one on the grab. The batter. And here is yeah. Jack Williams. He's already homered here in this one. Yeah, I'm very well aware of that. Thank here you. Comes a pitch. In the air, right side. Makes the grab on the run. And Woo. that ends the inning. Thing across. Now here is bottom eight, Jared one out. Hawkins. Trying to get to keep the hitting streak alive here. Record a hit after taking the first pitch. It can be my little clickly option here. We'll take that first pitch and see what happens from there. That's off the mark. One and oh. And there's a ball. When you get ahead in the count, there's no doubt that the success rate goes up. And that's what he's been doing. It's made a big impact for him in recent games. 2-0 to Cal. Here it comes. There's the strike. All right. And it really looks like these hitters no have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity. And right to the center there. field. That's probably going to end the hitting streak as well. I always remember watching Johan Santana pitch, and when he was in his prime, here's the left Top of the ninth, one out. Vasquez. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely, try to hit the ball out of the park, do what he loves to do. Swing, and a ball popped up. No trouble right. here, puts it away for the out. And there are two outs. We'll take that. Right fielder, Jalen... David. At the play, Jared Parker. I'm going to get another shot at it here. Oh, 5 3. I remember getting the tying run on top of it. Watch that. Let me go again. Run the power. Let me go again. Run it. I didn't like any of those options. Rounded right short. to the short stop. The hitting streak does end, and, and I end up being the final out of the game. Well, four God. He's just starting to get comfortable out there after throwing a lot of pitches in the bullpen in this one, but a nice job of attacking the hitters. Being God, really that was ugly. And this is what you want to do. You want to come in, and you want to close things out as quickly as possible. A 5-3 final score in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us. Our final line score. First for the victorious Binghamton Rumble Ponies. Five runs, ten hits. Yeah. <sighs> oh for five. For the rubber on seven hits. No errors. They left. We're excited to be coming to you live from inside Riverboat Field. Double A. I don't I want to play the rest of the theory. All right, oh and three. Connor Pilkington, four and one, three point five five. Connor Pilkington and Chris, he seems a lot more oh my God. here at home than on the road, right? Or in the bullpen, or in the bullpen without all the first, my God. Just sleeping in your own bed, 
being around your family. It's not like we're, like we're playing the big the, the the Yankees in the major league. league. We're playing a freaking freaking big and rubber pony for God's sake. All in all, ten oh, God. Man, it's second with one away. Jared Hawkins. Five home runs. Ty for second on the rubber duck. It's been for him. He has supplied a lot of power and that average. Wait. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Five all one. Very important. Two double in the last three games. Runs, you want your three RBI. And just mow them down. The offense has worked hard. It's shut down any time. That pitch in for a strike, and that is strike okay. one. And it's fouled away. A little late on that fastball. One two. The one two. In the air, center field. Okay. Nice grab on the run. And there's two away. Batting four. The catcher. Yeah, the batter now. Right. Bottom Hawkins. five. Still okay, bottom three. Still five nothing. Hawkins goes five feet nine inches. Hitting third in the lineup, and he was a third round pick in 2023. And first offering is fouled off. Out Line front, drive. Ah, you got fouled. And a pitch. Out towards right center okay, the field. The other part Davis. of the zone out of protect the plate. Was well, probably a bad pitch. Now batting. Catcher. I'm making papers, flipping lasers. Got the oh, way out in Westwood. He and Tangle. And welcome back. On to the fourth. Here's the shortstop at the plate. Chet Williams. Lifted in the air, right field. Hawkins. Makes the catch, Lee's having a deacon job here in relief. My God. The left fielder, number 20, Jared. Welcome back. Lee and now the right fielder, the Jared Hawkins. The right fielder, Jared Hawkins. Five nothing Hamlet bottom kick. Grounded Smash right to the, the third baseman. Side. Hit hard. The throw to first. And a quick now all of a sudden I can't get a big nice gave my life. So digging in, over three here, four and seventeen, four for seventeen for the theory. I think like oh for the last eight. You don't bank after taking the first pitch. In there for strike one. Well, as good as things can be, it can be a tough day at the office, even for the skippers. Seeing the offense just sputter, not able to get anything going. Right. Hey, the, at least we're not getting shut out. Now fly ball to right center. Right. McElroy yeah. squeezes it, and that'll do it. Yeah. Now it's the, the DH, Luke Ritter. Designated hitter. If you're trying to keep the line moving, this is the guy you want at the plate. Such a good hitter can also uh, flash some power. I'm trying right to get the over with at this point. And that one is lifted in the air. Hawkins makes the grab. And that is the third out of the inning. No runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. On now to the bottom of inning number nine. The Rumble Ponies. Well, this team was ready from the first pitch of the ball game. Swinging the bats. I don't think I've. I think I don't think that. I don't think I've gone hit like a two straight game at all the run here until until now. Them all the way to the finish line. Nice win today. And eleven runners left on base. Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. Minor League Baseball from the AA level coming up.
It's the Binghamton Rumble Ponies going up against the Akron Rubber Ducks. First pitch coming your way next. Just about ready to roll here on the Dixon hill. Three, and three point great start, Xavier Curry. What should we keep an eye on? All right, here? one on, nobody out. Dominant his last time out, picked up the win, only allowed one run. Bottom of the first here. To see him back on his game in this one. Jared Hawkins in the box here. Let's that one go for a ball. I'll move the pitch out. Josh Walker, the pitcher. And a pop up right side foul territory reaches okay, for okay, it, in the corner of that, that pitch would have been a ball. The way it can be high in the strike zone. The pitch. He swings that and pitch should be strike at least. If I go for my Not last going. nine. Balls it in two away. Batting four. The center fielder. He did. Now it's the right fielder, Jared right fielder. Hawkins. He's Jared. over one. All right, wife is calling. I'm going to go off mic for just a moment here. Foul ball there. Hawkins hitting third in the lineup, and he was a third round pick in 2023. That one out to right. Davis makes a nice grab at a full sprint. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one left. Three innings complete. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. And now the first baseman, number 12. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows. Ah, that ends the inning, so we take a break. So one hit is all they get. We're midway in the fourth. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. And now the right fielder, Jared Pocket. The right fielder, number 19, Jared Pocket. First pitch, and he just misses. Nobody out. Runner at first. There's the swing and a miss. Threw that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. Stops it on a slide. There's one. On to first, double play. The center field, number 14. Next to hit, the number 12. Base, number 12, Matt Winifer. And the righty deals. In the air, right field. He's under it. And there's one down. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Go ahead, run on bat, base. And now the DH, Luke Ritter. Luke Ritter. And a pitch. In the air, right field. He's under it. Makes the catch for the second out. All set to start the ninth in this. All right. You need to get the pitch, though, man. 2 2 now. Swing and a ball popped up. That gets down for a hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff nod. Yeah. No, he didn't get much of that one, but it's going to look like a line drive in the box score tomorrow. So up next, number Ooh, they 12. Move the you know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is I want to stay square to the plate. Try to hit the ball over the shortstop. Come on, y'all. Look at him going to win one here. Right side. Hawkins racing makes the catch. I right, didn't want Chant going to so third. We're in the bottom of the ninth. Over right three. I'm like over my last 12 or something at the plate right now. And first off, way too early. Off. 
One down, base is empty. Close, but call the ball. And it's one and one. Probably should have been a strike, but I will take it. Last half of inning number nine. To the right side. Weak and grounder to first. The flip to the pitcher covering. Now two out. Kind of a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice. Yeah. Ball. The final one to nothing. A one run extra inning win for Chris Singleton. All right, we'll take it. Outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chomby saying so long. Hit like in three straight games. That had, I know that hack can happen at, at all on this run. And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. Some double-A baseball coming at you. It's the Bingham. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Just about set to go. And towing the slab, Adam Leverett. And Chris, he's a guy that gets better when things get tough. Yes, All right, leadoff hitter here. Better when he's in a jam, so okay, we'll Peroka has already worked a full count. High in the air, out to right. Hawkins hauls it in, and there's All right. no way. Batting second. So up next, Jared Hawkins. What a season it's been for him. It's been a great weekend, but I gotta get, get, I gotta get some hits now. Though. Costa back to work, and first offering is fouled off. Nice slider. Nice warm day here. Good baseball weather. Didn't have the. Does that change anything, Chris? Especially for the hitters. Absolutely. You feel so much more. I thought it was going to be coming in faster than it did. Worried about, you know, getting jammed on fastballs in the again. The kind of look early on. I think I hold back much better that time. Just but looking out away so that you can get the barrel to it in that part and get on the inside part of the plate as well. Got him swinging. Slider got him for strike three. Now it's the right fielder. <sighs> Hawkins struck out swinging his first time. It's gone. Uh, uh, not a good theory. Now he can't pitch in the dirt. The runner's going to run to second. In there safely. All right. And that's a wild pitch as he moves into scoring position. Man, it seems like his control has just totally left him out there. He hits the guy, then immediately throws a wild pitch to move him into scoring position. I'm sure that's a lonely feeling out there on the mound right now. Runner leads away at second. Line drive, base Laser, hit. Base hit. Around third. And that should bring the run in. He'll score easily. On the board first, it's All one right. Hit. You're going to break a clump. That's the way to do it. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make a pay. One down. Now it's going to be Zach Collins. Hit it well, but fly out to the deepest part of the outfield his first time. Bunch it straight back to the mound. That's going to be a sacrifice. And that's an out on the sacrifice. Man at second. Now, Petey Halpin, one and for 15 on the theory. He, he, had, he had a big run of bad luck lately. He was struggling before the theory started, too. On its second with two down. 1-1 one, one pitch. Softly hit to third. Palmer. There you go. That's not enough on it. And that is that. So a run on yeah. one hit, no errors, and a man. Next is the designated hitter, Luke Ritter. Now 1-1. One, one. High fly ball, right field. He's got it, and there's two away. Well, on the mound, very efficient, able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about... The right first and All right, two on, one out, one out bottom of the right kick. Fielder, Jared Hawkins, one for two. Five of 24 for the series. Such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Oh, Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion, and he's in full speed. Fouled off Fouled a little off. early on it. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and probably just as well. I didn't make good contact on it. Could probably a double play if it's fair. And there's a foul ball. Early on that one, that go to. Get that ball hard. Two on, one out. Grounder might be two. At to second, there's one. And I grounded two. way too many double plays. 
They made it look easy, but it started with a nice speed to the second baseman from the shortstop. Perfect turn, and they're out of this jam. So two down. Now it's the right fielder, Jared Hawkins. Corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. All right. No pressure. In the air out to center. He's it under it. It can't look late this on that. I don't see over. how, but whatever. And your final Here score is over. Kevin, and I got Tiger. one hit in four Watch games. I think it's a good time to call the day, don't you? All right. Ugly theory. Still in second place now. Eight games back. Oh, no, that's looking more and more like looking gonna like we're gonna be done here. We're gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you for joining me for watching on Twitch. Follow me at on YouTube too. Because my name Jared Hawkins should pop right up. If you're watching on YouTube. Twitch.tv forward slash ref Jayhawk. Get the update. Got to when the show go live. Look at my podcast, The Indie Wrestling Guide. Wherever you download your favorite podcast, we cover the best and worked in independent wrestling. We got interview with independent wrestling star. Review the show. You name it, we've probably done it. Thank you for joining us, everybody. Stay safe. Support independent wrestling. Watch them baseball. Go Guardian. I'll see you later.